I've ever met in my whole entire career. Let me tell you all about story I heard one day when I wrote it. <laughs> this is a funny story, but it ain't too funny if you think, if you think about it too hard. Then it's not funny no more, it's just become serious and sad. So don't, don't think too hard, just listen. I went down the street one day, this is all my story started with going down the street, because that's where everything happens, down the street. I went and I bought me about six decks of cards. Six of them. I only needed one, but I bought six of them because they looked good. And then I went further down the street. <laughs> and I threw uh, f uh, four, four of my decks, yeah, that's right, four of my decks, threw them in the trash. Because I only needed two at this point. <laughs> and I started playing in solitaire with myself. Kept that six deck in my pocket. <laughs> The sixth one I kept in my pocket, I said. <laughs> the fifth one I was playing solitaire with in the middle of the street. The policeman came up and said, hey, you gotta move this out the street. We can't be playing cards in the street now because there's cars out here and stuff. I said, all right, just help me find out where this ASP is goes. He said, I ain't got time, I'm on duty. Why don't you call me around six o'clock, I'll come back out here and help you. <laughs> I said, that's all right. I'm probably gonna be done by then because if I can't figure out where this goes, I'm just gonna quit. So I left my... Fifth deck of cards there in the street, went down further down the street with my sixth deck, and sold it to a guy for, well, I paid him to take it from me. <laughs> so, here I am out six deck of cards, and twenty dollars. He threw it in the trash immediately, I thought. He just ran off with the twenty. That's when he went down the street even further than me. And he, deck of cards. he bought himself seventeen truckloads of whiffle balls. Now I don't know why he needed that many whiffle balls, he never told me. But he got them all for twenty dollars. I started thinking if I kept my twenty dollars, I could have got me seventeen truckloads of whiffle balls. I would have juggled a couple of them and threw the other ones away. <laughs> then I went to uh, this place where it has a big parking lot. I don't know what the place is, but it's a parking lot about fifty thousand times bigger than twelve hundred football fields. And I think it, it took them like twenty years to build the parking lot. Nobody's parking in it though, so I don't know what they made it for. And there's a little there's a little shack off in the corner, and you can never get to the corner because it's a pretty big parking lot. There's a little shack off there in the corner where they sell rubber bands. They sell them twenty dollars for five. And they're really good rubber bands though. They never break. I mean, you could pull them for about twelve hundred miles, and they only stretch a little bit. <laughs> and then I ate a French fry one day. This is down the street. I ate a French fry where, where in the middle was a whole raw potato. How they did that, I don't know. But they did it, and I ate it. It was delicious. <coughs> Once upon a time, further down the other way of the street, in my other neighborhood, where my other house is, I saw this guy was fighting a unicorn. The unicorn kicked him square in his upper left canine tooth. <laughs> That's a, the one and only tooth, of course. He didn't have his braces on. So, the tooth just shot out of his mouth. It's a good thing the others had braces on there because they absorbed the rest of the impact. The unicorn, being scared of teeth, naturally fled off into the distance before I was able to record his existence on video camera. That man and I know what he was really fighting that day. <coughs> Local news came by to uh, document our, our, our altercation, but sadly there was no unicorn to be found. So I was arrested that day for abusing a local man. They didn't know his name, and neither did he, having just had such a serious blow to the head. So the police just wrote his name down as local man. <laughs> this local man took me home to my house, not his, where he made me seven layer brownies for saving his life that day from the local unicorn. <laughs> okay. <laughs>